Earth. New at six, a local 12 year old student with autism is facing a felony charge. Jaden Ringland is accused of threatening to burn his Cobb County school. His family argues, though, that Jaden was only repeating what he heard and saw in a video game. Repeating phrases is common behavior for autism patients, but despite the disorder, CBS 46's Sierra Cummings found the county is not dropping the charges. In this room, we built it. Each toy is in its special spot. Jaden Ringland even knows when an item is slightly out of place. I like everything. <laughs> it's in this room the 12 year old is most keenly aware, but in other places, not so much, Mom Tova Ringland says. We don't want him to think that he's a bad child. Uh, Autism is a developmental disorder which causes physical and verbal behavioral to, challenges. In Jaden's case, he experiences scripting or repeating phrases from anything he sees or hears like songs, movies, or even video games like this one. Red Dead Redemption. It's a video game the 12 year old played with his older brother. Clips posted online show the main character creating what the game calls fire bottles with gasoline, then burning everything in his path. Jaden read it that way in the game's description too. He said at school that he was going to um, get a fire bottle, a bottle with gasoline and fire and um, burn the teachers in the school. And he's facing felony charges of terroristic threats at Hightower Trail Middle. Emails show the teacher notified his mom about the comments made in his special education classroom on January 29th. But Ringland says it wasn't until February 5th she got a call explaining charges were filed after this police report. And there's a protocol and it says they're supposed to ask him if it's pretend or real. They didn't do that. They contacted the officer who came and got him for a timeout and then press charges. But cop schools like Jaden's have special procedures for special ed students known as a behavioral intervention plan. Because of its scripting symptoms, the plan outlines when there is a verbal disruption, i.e. making threats to kill or harm, staff should prompt Jaden to use expected language by asking, is that a movie quote or real life? I asked him later, was that pretend or real? He said, pretend video game. She argues had the teacher followed the special education class procedures, they would have confirmed Jaden was scripting. We reviewed initial emails from the teacher related to this incident. There was no reference to the process being followed immediately after Jaden made the alleged threats. My scripting behaviors come out when they're, they're understimulated or the other side is when they're overstimulated. Local psychologist and behavioral specialist Dr. Diva Carrion trains teachers and districts on ways to meet the needs of special education students. Carrion is not connected to Jaden's case, but the expert says students like him can rely on scripting as a coping mechanism for being afraid, overwhelmed, or confused. And at the end of the day, the teachers are just doing the best they can with what they've got. This space where he's most mindful, the middle schooler is not so aware a verdict could make him a felon. But Ringland hopes there's no room for that potential reality. You know, our prison systems are full of people who are disabled, people with mental health problems, people who are disabled, and we don't want to get there. We asked the district to interview a spokesperson, sent us a statement confirming there was a suspension saying during which district policy and administrative process was followed. Further details and the nature of the suspension is not publicly available. The spokesperson said the DA filed an additional charge because of a threat made two weeks prior. They did not disclose it, but we found a court record for this case, which noted he previously said he would shoot up the bus. The family says they are unaware of those allegations, that they were not notified of those claims. We reached out to the DA who has not yet responded. As for Jaden, he's no longer allowed to play that video game and he's enrolled in a new school. I'm Sierra Cummings, CBS 46 News.